I've just been looking at how to draw angles in radians of these multiples here. So if we're drawing going around a circle, we always go clockwise. In this case, we've been doing fractions of going all the way around. Remember, all the way around is two pi radians, therefore halfway around is pi. And you can just start thinking about half of that or even quarter of that and so on. So let's do the harder ones. The harder ones are where we go over three or over six. So let's deal with those over here. So we need to learn how to draw angles on the unit circle for pi over three and pi over six. You notice I didn't draw the top part. That's for a reason here. So let's just assume though that this right here is sort of, um, let's do pi over three. That means that, remember this over here, this is zero, but it's also two pi. And if that's zero and two pi, that means all the way around to the left side, that must be just pi radians. Now, if you want to take pi over three, that means you've got to take this top part here and divide it into three equal parts. This is like if you're trying to cut pizza for your friends. You know, you've got to think about, oh, if I wanted this right here, if I had six, I want to cut this whole thing into six pieces, I would make uh, three slices, one through the middle, and I would make one like this and one like this. Because this would also go like this and it would also go like this. If I did it right. This would be three even pieces. See that? This right here one, two, three even pieces to get over to pi. See, this is pi, and I want a third of that. So I take my top half and split it into three even pieces. This must be pi over three. And if that's one pi over three, then we start doing the multiples. That means we count. The next one then is two pi over three. And the next one after that is three pi over three, but that rounds, that reduces to this. That means this must be four pi over three. The next one then must be five pi over three. And that means lastly, when we come into here, that means this is 6 pi over 3. And 6 pi over 3 luckily reduces, right? 6 pi over 3, that reduces. 6 over 3 is just 2. So we get 2 pi. Ha, ah, good. So this is how I count with these pi over 3s. And if I want to do the over 6s, you've got to think, well, pi over 6 is half of this. So then these are actually fairly straightforward. Once you've drawn your pi over 3s, then you can do your pi over 6s, because pi over 6 is half of that, half of pi over 3. So this is pi over 6. Now we've got to think carefully about how to do this. We're going to do this, then we're going to do half of that, half of that, half of that, half of that, half of that. So we're going to have a lot of pieces for our pi over 6s. So if this is pi over 6, this is 1 pi over 6, then this must be 2 pi over 6. And good news, again, you can do this every time, right? 2 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 3. That's good. So this is 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6. This over here must be 3 pi over 6. Straight up. That must be 3 pi over 6. But 3 pi over 6 reduces. That reduces to pi over 2. That's good because we were learning about those earlier, right? If you look at the last one, the last video we were doing, straight up is pi over 2. Good. See, it reduces to pi over 2. So again, I'm just trying to show you that these actually do work. So if this right here is 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, this must be 4 pi over 6, which reduces. So this must be 5 pi over 6 over here. If this is 5 pi over 6, this must be 6 pi over 6. And 6 over 6 reduces to this. Then this must be 7 pi over 6. This must be 8 pi over 6, which reduces to this. This must be 9 pi over 6 right here, which reduces to 3 pi over 2. This must be 10 pi over 6. And 10 over 6 is 5 over 3. That means this must be 11 pi over 6. So do you see there's actually not many actual ones that show up on this, even though... All your pi over sixes are showing up. It's just that they're actually, they've got more commonly reduced to numbers. So well, here I did count in pi over sixes. I went one pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pi over six. Whereas this is 12 pi over six. And again, 12 pi over six gives you two pi. So see, if you do it right, it should always work out to be the numbers that you know. But these are the weirder ones. So now let's practice. Let's just do a couple of angles here. So let's just say we want to draw an angle then of 7 pi over 3 radians. So the way you do it is, first of all, you think, I've got things over 3. You've got to think about, you know, I've got, a, I've got some number. It's 7 of these pi over 3s. So that's the way I think of it. I think of pi over 3s. And remember, I know this is 0. This is also 2 pi. That means this over here then must be pi. And this is the only thing that's in my brain. I figure out the rest as I go along. If I wanted multiples of pi over 3, I've got to take this top part and split it up into three even pieces. So there's my pi over 3. And that means this is 2 pi over 3. And this is 3 pi over 3. That means this over here must be 4 pi over 3. 
this down here must be 5 pi over 3. This over here must be 6 pi over 3. And if I want to do 7 pi over 3, it turns out that means I've got to go all the way around to 5 pi over 3. Over here is 6 pi over 3, so go again. This then is 7 pi over 3. So you see, you can go around more than once in a circle. So in this case, my angle of 7 pi over 3 radians is actually this. This is it. It's this angle right here, because you've gone all the way around and then back to here again. This is where you finish. You finish here on the unit circle. So pi over 3 is the same as 7 pi over 3. It should make sense, because if I take pi over 3 and I add a whole circle to it, which is 2 pi, pi over 3 plus 2 pi is going to be, uh, that's going to be 6 pi over 3 plus 1, which is 7 pi over 3. In any case, just count in your units and away you go. Let's try this one. I'm just trying to give you some that are a little bit tougher to look at. Instead of just the easy ones that we just labeled, I'm trying to think of how to do these. So we can do an angle of 5 pi over 4 radians as well. We can do that. Again, we just got to think about, okay, this is 0 and this is also 2 pi. That means this is pi. I want a multiple of pi over 4. So I got to figure out how to get pi over 4. Well, if this is pi, half of that, that's pi over 2. And half of that is pi over 4. Now I'm in business. Now I'm ready. So I'm going to do these quarters here like this. So that means if I go 1 pi over 4, this is 2 pi over 4, this is 3 pi over 4, this is 4 pi over 4, therefore this is 5 pi over 4. So your angle then is actually this one right here. This is your angle right here. So that's where it finishes. So it goes, so it goes around like this. This other one up here was harder to draw because it went, you could say it went all the way around and then finished here. It was an angle that went all the way around the circle and finished here. Here, this is an angle that just goes around to 5 pi over 4. Remember, this is 6, so this is 7 pi over 4. So in case you wanted to label everything, you really could. Right? This is 1, 2, this is 3 pi over 4. Just to label everything, this is 4, 5, this is 6, this must be 7, so on. So I hope this explains a little bit about how to draw your angles. Now take your time with them because you really got to get used to them, but do practice just drawing yourself the pi over 2s over 4s, and on a separate one do your pi over 3s, pi over 6s. It's a really good practice to know how to do these really, really well.